So this question says points A and B lie on a circle with radius 4 meters. I'm going to just draw a circle. I'm going to put point A and point B. I'm going to also draw a radius to one of those points. I'll just choose B. doesn't matter what you choose. And label that as 4 meters. So this is a strategy I like to call plug-in picture. Right? It's just basically saying, I'd rather have a visual than not to have a visual. So if a question is describing something that can be drawn, I am going to draw it and label it with whatever information the question has given me. So we have arc AB has length in meters. So we know this arc has a length in meters, just like the radius does. So the length 4 pi over 5 of arc AB, so I'm going to label that. So this length is 4 pi over 5 is what fraction of the circumference of the circle. Okay, so then, you know, this is a lot of uh, what, I, what I call translation, right? These words all have a meaning. The length, 4 pi over 5, 4 pi over 5, of arc AB, right? So 4 pi over 5 goes with this arc AB, is, is always translates to equals, so equals, what fraction, so I'm going to just say x, right, knowing that x has to be a fraction, of, of means multiply, the circumference of a circle, now the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, so hopefully you caught that, I just literally translated this just about word for word, 4, point, 4 pi over 5 is what fraction, again that's what x is because I don't know what it is, of the circumference of a circle, of means multiply, and the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Now, the circumference of our circle, uh, because we do know the radius equals 4, means that we can convert this equation to 4 pi over 5 equals x times 8 pi, right? Because 2 pi times 4 is 8 pi. And now to solve for x, I am multiplying by the reciprocal of 8 pi on both sides so that my eight pi's can cancel out there, leaving me with just an x by itself over here. And then I can cross cancel here, four pi cross cancels with eight pi, making this two, making this one, and then that becomes one over 10, right? So our fraction, which is what we expected, we expected to get a fraction for x, our fraction is one tenth, right? So in essence, the length of the arc is one tenth the length of the entire circumference. So that is our answer. That's what you're going to plug in to your answer choice, or not answer choice, but that's what you're going to plug into your free response. So one uh, fraction bar and 10, bubble all that in, and that is your answer.